Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Cody Alford Show. Have you ever like felt that you're trying to grow? You think you're growing, you're trying to grow, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like you're making any traction. Well, if that's you, you came to the right episode because today I'm going to help you shift your perspective so you actually see what you're doing vice what you think you're doing. That's going to change your life. Before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor for this show. It's Try Neuro Supplements. Try Neuro Supplements was created by an Air Force neurosurgeon that actually has time on brains and spines and is a proud sponsor of the Cody Alford Show. And Try Neuro is all about optimize your brain for the highest level of performance. And being a guy that has suffered from numerous traumatic brain injuries from a military career, I need to function properly. My memory, my focus, my brain fog, my clarity, all those have diminished over time. And Tri Neuro has helped me reclaim my life back and move even faster than I thought I could. And so there we go. Let's get into the show here. So I started jujitsu maybe two years ago, and that's a big, that's a big if, maybe a year and a half ago, but probably just to say two years ago. And I started with a no stripe white belt. Uh, fun fact, I'm still a white belt. Uh, but I have a few stripes on my belt. And when I first started, I remember my very first day of class, I, you know, I, I would, I was, we were doing live roles and I got to this like dominating position, right? What I thought was dominating. It was in side control. What I would learn that was side control. And I just stood there. I just stayed there like tight. I gripped everything I could. And my opponent, who was actually my, my, my professor at the time, he's like, I just relax, Cody. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm totally relaxed. I'm totally chill. I swear. I'm really relaxed. And in my head, I thought I was so relaxed. In my head, I thought I was just so chill. But my body was saying otherwise. I was not chill. I was like a cat being thrown into a bathtub, right, full of water. I was like, I didn't want to move at all. And I didn't know what to do. And all these years of being a civilian transitioning on the military back in 2018, I'm like, man, I've worked on myself. I'm chill. I'm calm. I'm collective now. I'm self-aware. I understand there's plenty of room for improvement. I understand there's areas of my life that are not good that need to be, you know, invested in. But at this moment in this mental headspace, I thought I was so chill. I thought I was just so relaxed. Turns out that I wasn't. How many of you right now are going through this like growth phase in your life where you think you're 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 just like not growing to the capacity and the speed that you want to because the outside reality is not showing it. You're comparing, you think that all this work that you're doing is doing for nothing because the outside world isn't showing it. That's what I was thinking. I was like, man, I had to reframe my thought process and everything. I'm like, dude, I've been doing all this work and this dude's going to tell me I'm not chill. Well, not only did he tell me that I wasn't chill, my action showed me otherwise. My body was like rejecting calmness. And I don't claim to be a jujitsu expert by any means, right? Uh, one thing I don't like about sports or clicks or niches is everyone's got a everyone's an expert somewhere and I just really are rep repulsed to be associated with a lot of things but I really do like jujitsu uh, I'm not one of those people that says it's changed my it's saved my life but it showed me a lot about myself which I really 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 like and I realized going to jujitsu I knew nothing <laughs> my whole thing was like I'm just gonna shoot you but then that's just ignorant and arrogant. And I don't want to ever have to shoot someone in America. And to be able to defend myself, to be able to maneuver my mind and my body where I'm relaxed and I'm in control, even if the environment is not ideal for me, I can relax and find that flow. I can feel the pressure and I can, I can manipulate my body to do things I never thought I could do. That's why I love jiu-jitsu. But the thing about jiu-jitsu is when I personally started, I was like, dude, I suck. I don't know anything. What I love about jiu-jitsu is that over time, I'm not breathing as heavy. Over time, I'm moving more. Over time, I'm not a cat being thrown into the bathtub. 
I'm fluid. I'm seeing progress, but it took time. Even though all those years prior, my own personal development, I thought I did all this work to be calm and chill and to be open-minded. When in fact, I was doing something different. I was learning something different that I, I had never been exposed to before. Wondering why it's so freaking hard. Your journey of growth is no different. What you're attempting to do is something you've never done before. And no matter what you've done previously, this is something different. It's something new. You're going to suck. You're not going to be as great as you think. But that doesn't mean you're not making progress towards your goal, towards your end state. It takes time. It takes time. But we, especially as Americans and first world people, we have been so conditioned to instant gratification. Social media, likes and hearts and gadgets and gadgets and Uber Eats and Amazon Prime. I mean, guys, how can you compete with Amazon Prime? I run a small business myself, an apparel brand called We Defy the Norm, and it, it, people are like, uh, I ordered this yesterday and I haven't got it yet. I'm like, bro, because I'm not Amazon, dude. Get over it. People are so conditioned to want things now. Hey, I, I posted on social media for 10 days, but I haven't blown up yet. Hey, I made one YouTube video and I haven't blown up yet. Hey, I put out a product and service, but no one's purchased it yet. Dude, it takes time. What makes you think you're different? Because you're not. But the thing is, I want you to go back into your time, you know, even like for myself, when I decided to even go to jujitsu. That was completely out of my comfort zone. That was completely out of my norm. I knew I needed change in my life. That's why I went. I was smoking like four joints a day at the time. I was completely checked out. My wife was pregnant. She had a really hard pregnancy. And I just like checked out on her. I was like in my head like, like you know, wondering if I'm going to be a crappy father because I felt like a crappy father because I have an older son that lives overseas with his mother. And so I thought I was going to repeat this habit. I thought I was going to like, I was just creating a reality in my head I didn't even want. And I'm like, dude, I got to do something different. So I started going to jiu-jitsu. And even though I thought I was grown and advanced, I didn't know anything. For weeks, I didn't know anything. I, they, I didn't even know what side control was, like, after, like, two weeks. I wasn't on Tri-Neuro at the time, so my brain wasn't really functioning still. Even after being on the Marine Corps at this point, I don't know four years it was a lot to take in what seemed to be easy to look at to practice it was something completely different it was new but you know what's up did I get gradually better sure I'll say that but there was one defining moment where there was aha to click a shift And it all switched. It all switched for me. Your growth is no different. Your growth is no different. It's no different than that dang story we hear about like digging for gold and the guy that gave up was only a few feet away from the gold mine. Like that's that metaphor is for all of us. It's for life in general. It's going to take time. But that doesn't mean you're not making progress. Because I never could have got to getting compliments from my professor if I didn't continually show up. I wouldn't get to the point where I'm proud of myself. I'm actually confident going on the mat. I understand that, hey, I'm a white belt still, bro. doesn't matter how many stripes I have. My whole purpose in life is survival. The question is for me, the battle for me is, can I move more than I did yesterday? Can I move forward more than I did yesterday? Can I move more than I did yesterday? If I'm in a position that's uncomfortable, am I just going to stay there and, and just think? Or am I just going to like take a, make a guess and, and see what happens, even if it's bad, even if it's quote unquote wrong, even if I get submitted or tapped out? Who cares? That's what I'm on the mat for. Your growth journey, your personal development is no different. What do you can do? 
you had some good days, now you're having some bad days, and you're stuck in your head, you're not moving, so you're just going to chill until it magically comes to you. You think God, universe, whatever you subscribe to is just going to magically bless you because it looks like you need an assist in life? There is no phone and friend on this. You got to move. You got to take action. That's how you started this whole journey in the first place. You moved. You took action. And I'm willing to bet before you decided to move and take action, your life probably wasn't that great. Now you're deciding to invest in yourself and do something different. And you're like, dude, my life still isn't great. How can it not be great? Because weeks ago, months ago, years ago, before you ever started, that's where your life was going to end in that vibrational conscious level state. But you took it upon yourself to do something different. So how was that not good? I sucked day one, day two, week one, week two of jujitsu. But I was progressively getting better even though I didn't see it until I saw it. And that's the beauty of it. Because now that I see that, man, I'm not as bad as I was when I first got in there. Now I'm able to, when I roll with new white belts, I have grace for them. I can obviously crush them. I know way more than them. I'm way more, I'm way confident, more confident than them. I'm, I'm fluid than them. I'm strong. Strong like ox. But I don't have to exert that. I can play and relax. I can do what I'm supposed to do, grow. And if I'm doing the same thing every time, I'm not growing. I'm just drilling down again these repetitions of the same thing. I'm conforming to my comfort, to what I know. I still don't know the foot game in jiu-jitsu, even though right now we're learning that. So maybe I'll pick it up. But when I get a foot normally, I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. But you bet I'm trying to figure out what to do with it. I'll even tickle the damn thing. I'll do something. I'm going to apply pressure somewhere because when, when that person submits or taps or after or during the roll because I roll with a bunch of Gs, they're like, hey, dude, lift your arm up more here, do this. I'm like, oh, my God, that's what it is. They're like, yeah. I'm like, can I try one more time? They're like, sure. That's the caliber of people I get to roll with. So I'm learning and growing. But before that, I was just getting feet or an ankle. I wouldn't know what to do with it. Well, now I still don't know what to do with it, but I'm here to grow. So I'm trying something different. I'm going to try to make something out of it. I'm going to try to make something happen. Why wouldn't I do that? Your personal development is absolutely no different. The problem is just because you don't know how to do an ankle lock yet, you think you're not good enough. But before... In this story, before I ever got on the mats, I didn't even know what an ankle lock was. So how am I doing worse? Before you ever got to where you're at, you never got to where you're at today. So how is that bad? Because here's the thing about growth. If you do nothing different, your life will stay the same. You're staying on the same trajectory, which can still include growth and prosperity and abundance and all that great stuff, right? All the great things we like to say. But you're still going to suffer with the same problems that you're refusing to address. But if you decide to do something different, now you stand a chance to actually evolve. Now you stand a chance to actually become someone different. A year and a half ago, two years ago, I didn't know anything about jujitsu. I heard of it. I had a bunch of team guys when I was active duty in Marslock. They're like, hey, you should come to the gym with me. I'm like, bro, that's, that's stupid. I don't want to do it. I just want to go home because that's where my mindset was. Like I did spend enough time with work. Like I actually liked my wife, you know, not saying these guys didn't, but like a lot of these guys are single and I had a bunch of excuses. I just don't want to do that stuff. I don't want to do it because I was turned off by the perversion of our martial arts program that we had and how it was ran by some doofuses like our big Marine Corps martial arts program. That was G gangster scary. I had a few guys that went through that and they were like ninjas but how we were doing in our unit, I just like, man, I was turned off by it because it's always like, how can I hurt you? Vice teach you. I'm all for violence, you know, but I want to be taught. How can I learn from this? Not just, oh, you know something I don't? Good, typical military, exert your power on me. Like that, that was lame. I didn't want nothing to do with it. So I transferred that over 
to why I didn't do jujitsu as active duty. Probably the same reason why some of y'all are avoiding growth right now. Because you, you read the book or you have a friend who's doing their growth journey and they're sucking or they're stuttering or they, they turn to be douchey and you're comparing yourself to them and what their evolution of life is. And you're like, I don't want to be part of that. Well, you're comparing to, to them. And when you compare, you're assuming that they're just as strong as you, that they have the same calling as you, that they have the same willpower as you, that they have the same discipline as you. And that's simply not true. Your personal development journey is your personal development journey. It's not supposed to look the same. However, there are some of the same features that carry out through everybody. For instance, I know this for all the clients that I work with and just people, my friends that I talk to. You can have all the greatest highs in the world, but guess what happens when you start to have a come up? You will be challenged and you're going to fall. It's just how it is. Doesn't mean you can't go back up, but some people think growth is only oriented up. That's not growth. Growth is up, pummeling down, up a little again, down another like twice as deep than it was up. And it's this continuation. Rise and falls, rise and falls, rise and falls. It's going to happen. Doesn't mean you're not growing though. So what I really need you to do is I really need you to stop this like mental banter that you're giving yourself that you're not good enough, that you're not doing enough. Because I'm willing to bet you're doing more now for yourself, even if it's only in the conscious mind. And what I mean by that, even if you're just telling and having conversation with yourself, like, man, I really need to change. That level of self-awareness is huge, and many people will never get there because they choose not to focus and face themselves because it's scary. Nobody wants to be the person that's not perfect Nobody wants to be the perfect the person that doesn't have it all figured out. Nobody wants to look that way, especially men, especially fathers. They don't want to look that way. They don't want to look like they don't know. Well, that's why those guys suck. I excelled so much in the military, especially the special operations community, because I didn't know anything. I raised my hand for almost everything. I was that guy. I want to know why. If I'm here, I want to know why I'm here. If I need to do this, I want to know why I'm doing this. So then I'll have buy-in. Or I just don't understand, so I want to understand so I can be successful at it because my life depends on it. Well, newsflash, your life depends on your actions now because you're going to die. But how you live is up to you. And growth isn't about this be perfect and never get it wrong. That's stupid. If that's what growth is, I don't want no part of it. I'm not looking for perfection in my life. I'm looking for progress. And if you never start, you'll never have progress. But if you've decided to commit to grow, to like, man, I'm going to figure this out. This sucks. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. Congratulations. Now you're on your journey. Now you can begin. But you can't ever get there. You can never, ever, ever get there until you let go of whatever you're holding on to today and you show up to the metaphorical mats and you say, I'm here to learn. And then you're opening up for the process of like, hey, <laughs> I'm relaxed. No, you're not, bro. No, I'm good. No, you're not, bro. That's okay. That's all part of the process. That's part of the journey. And... The saddest thing you can do is go through all that mental, mental turmoil that you're putting yourself through right now and not even see how far you've come. There was a time in your life where you had no internal dialogue. There was a time in your life where you just didn't think you could make it. Now look at you. Sure, your chips might be low. The odds might not be in your favor, but look at how far you've come. Each new level of ascension is a new belt. I have plenty of friends that I roll with. They're like, man, I shouldn't be a blue belt. I don't know anything. I'm like, that's why you're a blue belt. 
we're so hard on ourselves because that's what society tells us because Instagram talking head videos that everyone's perfect and multi gazillionaire with a Ferrari and you're comparing yourself to them like, man, where'd I go wrong? I don't know when all these other idiots were doing real estate, making bank. I was, I was fighting a war as a special operator. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't have 30 homes by the time I was 25. I was on my third deployment because this is my journey. This is my evolution, my calling inside that I'm pursuing, that I feel called to by God to pull a thread on. I'm not trying to pull my thread on yours. I'm not trying to pull your thread for my advancement. That'd be silly. Your calling is your calling. All I want you to take away from this is that you're doing more than you think, but that doesn't mean you should slack. It means you should continue. It means keep on going even though you don't see the results that you want yet. Results are a destination-based concept and mindset. We are not destination-based. We are journey-based. I would walk into the unknown for the rest of eternity for a chance. For a chance at greatness. For a chance at salvation. For a chance... at becoming my best self than ever walking towards a destination where I know the outcome, which is mediocre, which is average. My family deserves the best. That calling I have inside deserves the best. And here's the beautiful thing. You don't think you're the best, and that's okay. We're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. But know this, you've heard it before, right? God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. You can never be qualified until you answer that call. You can never progress until you begin your journey. So I want you to give yourself some grace. I want you to take a good look at how far you've actually come and I want you to keep on going. I want you to keep on hitting those mats. I want you to keep on showing up. I want you to keep on doing the work. I want you to keep on having those positive conversations with yourself inside because that's what's required. Because if you plant those negative seeds, my friends, let me tell you something. It's just as easy to be dark as it is to be light. One's not more powerful than the other. The one that you give power to is the most powerful. You know, you hear the thing, oh, light out trumps dark. If you give power to it. Because I've given power to darkness before, and that, that's pretty powerful. It's where you give the power to. So just because you don't see the results that you're, you're desiring today, just because you started jujitsu last week and you're not a black belt, that's okay. Keep on going. Do you want your stripes? Do you want your belts? Do you, wanna, do you want that confirmation of advancement? Of course you do. We all do. But would you rather be given those things or would you rather earn them? I remember my very first jiu-jitsu uh, uh, promotion I went to. I didn't show up a couple classes. Uh, I've probably been going to jiu-jitsu now for probably like six months. I didn't show up to a couple classes and they're doing a um, belt ceremony or a promotion. And we're all lined up against the back wall and they're calling people forward. And the whole time I'm telling myself, please don't call my name. Please don't call my name because I did not feel like I deserved it. Not that I didn't feel worthy. Like, oh, I'm not worthy to do this. No, I just didn't feel like I deserved it. Like I did not put in the proper work where I was confident with it. And guess what? They didn't call my name. And I was stoked about that. The next promotion, oh, I put the work in. And when they called my name and I got my first stripe on my white belt, I was like, dude, I earned this. I don't want to be given. I don't want to be given growth. I want to earn it. Because I'm on the journey to feel empowered and to serve at my highest level. Not to skim by. Not to play small. Not to just receive. I'm here to serve. I went to earn it all. 
and I know you do too. You might not see it exactly that way yet, but I know that you want something big for yourself, and I know that you feel this calling inside. You might not be sure exactly what it is, but I know you want more for yourself. How are you going to get there? You can get there the easy way. You want the handout, participation trophy, or are you going to go earn it? And if you choose to earn it, understand this. There's no guarantees. The only guarantee when you get on the journey is that you stand a chance. You stand a chance to have a better outcome than the one you just left behind. That should be all you need. Hey, if you like this episode, if, uh, if you like uh, supporting myself, go ahead and subscribe here. Uh, this is on YouTube, on Spotify. Follow me on Instagram at, at the Cody Alford. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you, and I look forward to talking to you all next time.